Welcome back everybody to D5 Questing. <laughs> you guys ever get sick of that? The I got a weird little like what's uh, when you when you can't like raise your left arm and you can't smile what's stroke stroke I got a stroke or something uh this episode goes out to all the uh all the fans that have had strokes recently <laughs> apparently sometimes I start the show and don't know where we're going I do however uh want to give a shout out and a thanks to Sirenscape whom you hear right now. There's just something about Sirenscape. Sirenscape.com for all of your RPG sounds. Uh, we're not getting anything from them, but we do use them on like every episode. And so uh, they're great because, I mean, you've heard all the sound, uh, all the sound effects, but in order to use them, got to give credit where credit is due. Speaking of credit where credit is due, MK... World Builder's coming up on this show. On this show. I know I know other people have done stuff, and they've done great stuff. You've done great stuff. I'm not looking to replace any of that. Just looking to do it. Looking to play the game. That's it. Um, yeah, when I was getting ready for uh, the episode, making sure everything was running, uh, Sirenscape, uh, I, wanted, I just checked the, the audio. And this was the song, and I was like, this is good. Good ambiance. Because we're in dire... Dire straits. Did you hear that scream? That wasn't a woman. That wasn't a girl. That was Sprag. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I also have a little bit of a tickle in my throat. Um, a couple things. One... Let's talk about dice gel. I don't have a uh, dice gel for virtual dice, unfortunately. So what I did is I went out and I got some some brand new dices. Oh, this. Ah, look at those. Let's see how they roll. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turn that up a little so you can hear the... My secret's out. Now you know how it's done. Magic's ruined. Show's ruined behind the scenes. So there's that. Uh, I want to say thanks to the fans. That's you guys. Uh, for, for, always, <laughs> for always being always being there for me. Um, no, you guys are the best. I appreciate you guys. You guys are... Um, really great and I'm learning a lot from you guys about this game so thank you and uh, for example I shouldn't have take taken all that damage I mean in the long run I'm not sure if it's actually gonna help a whole time but we'll see we'll see what happens uh, so what I'm gonna do is it was uh, six plus one damage that I took on that 95 which wasn't a hit I'm not gonna take it all back because I'm trying to just keep it going. So what we're going to do is I'm going to roll a d6. And whatever I get on the d6, that's how much health I'll start today at. We can do better. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, it was said that uh, the dice suck. Which they do. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, at first I was doing so good, wasn't I? I was doing amazing. I'll keep four, um, but I, I, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the problem right there. That's what you have got going on. So we'll get rid of the old frowny face and make it just a face. It's like, looks like salad fingers almost. All right. 
not Salad Fingers himself, but one of the characters. So I'm starting at four. And I'm also starting at three life and three fate points. So, um, found out about that. Basically, I could have re-rolled re my encounter, and maybe that's what I'll do going forward if I make it out. And if I die, then I just come back to life. So, gonna remember those. Um, let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? Big announcement today, by the way. Oh, and I also found out that you're supposed to take care of wandering monsters first. So technically, this is the wandering monster, and then I have another monster for this red room. Let's remember what this room looks like. Look at that. So, big announcement today. Uh, I was thinking about it, and uh, let's, let's put a little, uh, little something on the fight make it a little interesting if I get out of this fight alive we're doing a hat we're doing a hat giveaway won't be this one it'll be a brand new hat that I've never worn before and I won't wear it not like uh, how I wore Derek's hat that one time uh, but I won't wear it brand new hat coming at you so what we'll do is if I beat this guy Excuse me, if Sprague beats this guy, hat giveaway, uh, to, all you got to do to enter is just send an email, uh, d5questers at gmail.com, link in the description. That's all you got to do to enter, uh, just say, I want that hat, I want that hat, and also tell me who your favorite character is on the show. <laughs> so, but we also got to beat this guy first. So with that, let's... Uh, Let's jump right back into it. Zoom right in. All right. So uh, I believe we're going to see what he wants to do. I'm going to go to the old cheat sheet in the book. There it is. All right. Let's see what it's going to do. Five. Monster attack is normal. One of these days, I'm going to have played this so much, I'm going to have all these charts memorized. Every single one. And we're going to attack. This is what we're going to do. Let's see what we need as a reminder. We're attacking with the Pernach. Pernachk. 55. And, if you remember, Mighty Blow. Don't let me forget. Mighty Blow. 55 or lower. Let's get a big hit. Okay, all right, let's let's spend one of those fate points that I keep hearing so much about. Fate point. Here we go, 21, 21. And I'm gonna mark that down, lest, lest I forgetteth. Two fate points, that paid off. All right, so let's see where we hit them. We're looking for one on the 10, six on the six. Crack die. Crack die, okay? Crack to die. And I look back. Three. You saw it. You, there was there. Three and a six. Go back and look at it. Three on the ten. Six on the damage. Look, rewind it. Look at it. That's what we're keeping. Because I want to get you guys that hat. I don't care about living. I, <laughs> I care about getting you guys that hat. That's all I care about. Okay. So three on the dice. And don't drop my phone. That's the that's the key. So three is the torso plus one. Per knock, give us another plus one. Six plus one plus one is eight. And it's got a defense of two, so they take six damage. That's big. That's so. Those of you who uh, are new to the show and this is your first episode, that's big. Huge. Huge. One point of damage. All right, let's see what it's going to do. Let's see what this sucker is going to do. 77. Nothing. Nothing. Not even... Like that. That's how... That's probably how this Goatman Archer do. <laughs> that's how we do. All right. Uh, new round of combat. Opening it strong. 
Uh, can monster will escape. I mean, this whole time we've been like, literally this whole week, I'm thinking, how am I going to get out of this? I'm going to run out of fate points. I'm going to run out of life. And now we've got him on the ropes and he's going to escape. Do we let him escape? No. No, because if he escapes, you don't get the hat. Duh. All right. So we're going to try and stop that. Block escape. Strength minus 10. Uh, and it is an escape. So let's see. 55 minus 10 is 45 escape all right 45 and I'm gonna let you guys know if I roll above 45 you know what we're gonna do we're gonna spend another fate point for the lid okay below 45 is what we need fate point for the lid I didn't drop the phone 23 not gonna escape all right so let's attack Let's attack the... Oh, let's uh, spend that fate point, though. That's for you guys, all right? That is... You guys shouldn't have told me about fate points, because now we're... I went five episodes without spending a single fate point, and we are 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes into this one, and I've already spent two. So, that was a mistake. <laughs> Sorry again about the sniffles. Mr. Sniffles. D5 sniffles. All right. Let's, uh... Let's attack this guy. 97. We'll let it go. I don't want to spend another fate point. That six looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's... No, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to save it. Next round of combat. Let's see what he does. Niner. Uh, monster damage last round, it will escape. It wasn't damaged last round, so it's not going to escape. Um, so it's going to attack as normal. Let's see what I do. Less than a 55. Here we go. 38. Yes. 38. All right. Now, let's see. Big numbers. Four and four. Arms. So four plus one minus two is three. That's enough. That is enough, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough to kill that guy. Boom. That's right. But he still needs to attack. So, here we go. 32. Uh. All right. Yeah. Let's 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 let him have it. Let's let let him have it. We're okay. Can you guys hear my stomach, by the way? <laughs> I need to get I need to get some some food. It's the bread in the bread basket. Alright. So five is hands. Nothing. Nothing on the hands. Alright. So five plus one is six minus four. Is two. Alright, we'll just take we'll just take the life point. That's what we'll do. So he dies, but in his dying breath. <clears throat> Let me do this. Alright. As the Goatman Archer draws back one more arrow. Sprag. I was hoping to haunt. Sprag. Boom. Goes feral. Drives his pernock down. Down upon the Goatman Archer. And in doing so, the Goatman Archer. <laughs> like that. That's exactly how it happened. So, with the Goatman Archer's dying breath, arrow. <laughs> And, uh, Sprag dies. But before we can mourn him too much, he pops right back up. I was telling my brother-in-law, 
about D100. Oh, and congratulations to you guys. Oh no. Uh, magical note insert here. That's uh, <laughs> if you've been watching the show for a while, you know that's the hat giveaway. So, <laughs> just kidding, it's not. We've only given away uh, a couple things on the show before, but we did it. You guys did it, and out all to you. So, for the lid, I want that hat in the subject line. Who's your favorite character? And the email, d5questers at gmail.com. Well done. Very well done. Very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, also in the email, let me know what kind, of, what color of thread you want. If it's a dark hat or if it's a light hat. So, because I don't know. I don't know what color hat it's going to be. We'll find that out. We'll be in touch. If you win, we'll be in touch. All right. So you've got one week from the day this episode comes out to send us your emails. Done. Done deal. Okay. Um... Very exciting. All right, let's uh, let's get some tr some uh, some of that treasure, and then we got another fight to do. <laughs> we got another fight to do. Uh, what's a good? Uh... This is probably as good as we're gonna get for right now. Oh, actually, yeah. All right, this is the treasure music. It's still just, I, st I still have no idea why this is a Sirenscape song on Sirenscape Fantasy and um, Sirenscape Sci-Fi. So I'll put a check mark there and erase all that. Very well done. AIW, armor, items, weapons. I'm, I'm partial to this per notch. It's... Uh, there we go. That's what I've been waiting for. I was like, well, how come it's not playing the... There we go. So, uh... <laughs> so dumb. Alright, I promise we won't... <coughs> Excuse me. I actually have a trumpet in this very room. So this is, uh... We're not looking at the result. This is on the armor, because I like the per notch. Uh, 23. 23 on the armor. We just scored ourselves the brand new leather arm guards. Do we have anything on our arms? Male sleeves. Okay. Alright, well, let's roll, let's roll how damaged these are. These puppies are. Two. Is that a pretty good song, actually? Two one points of damage on that. Uh, I won't fill out all the details because we got some fights to do. But we'll put one there. And 23. A 23. Alright, so. This. This, this fellow's gone, you see? You see? He's gone, you see? I used to have a good voice like that. My wife hated it. It's gone, you see? You see? Uh, it's, it's weird to admit, I make the faces, but I'm also watching myself. It's weird to see myself make the faces, you see? Is that really? That's bad. Don't, don't make this full screen. <laughs> All right. All right, enough 1920s. Let's, let's get back to real life here. All right. Maybe. All right. Well, that's loading up. Let's roll to see what we're uh, what we're up against on the encounter table. So that was the uh, wandering monster. Nine. That's that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Right there. That's it. For some reason, that's not working, you guys. <gasps> Did I break Sirenscape? 
think I broke Sirenscape. Oh, no, here we go. Okay. All right, nine. Nine on the encounter. E comes before F. Giant rat. Rat. Maybe I did break Sirenscape. Giant rats. And there are three of them. So let's do this. We'll do it like that. We should just leave those X's on because we're going to going to annihilate these guys. I don't know why. Can you guys Can you guys hear it? I can't hear it. All right. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. Sirenscape starts with an S. Where is it? Welcome back to D5. Watch Jacob find desktop all right oh come on <gasps> you guys it's not working this isn't counting against our time I'm gonna pause it and figure it out be right back be right back questers all right back come on back now we did it I don't know what in the world is going on but we did it and now we got to fight some riots no, we gotta fight some riot. I should get more battle music. Those of you that listen to Sirenscape or use Sirenscape, let me know some good battle music. And uh, so, so we can listen to more than just the troll battle. I mean, the troll battle's good. Sirenscape's good, but give me some variety. Give me some variety. Put it in your email. Um. Disease, it says, and pack. So let's do this. Giant rats. Right there. We've already got it written in. We've already got it written in. So let's uh let's see what these giant rats do. Three. Oh, come on. Come on, Jacob. Rookie move here. Three. Monster will attack as normal. I could have guessed. I could have, should have guessed that. Should have known. All right. My attack. 73 misses. Let's see what they do. They need 35. Yes. 25 plus 5 plus 5. 30, 19. Yeesh. Yikes. All right. It's okay. We're full health. Full health. Oh, my gosh. Four is arms, six points of damage. Six minus two is four, and on the arms, we've got those male sleeves there. Minus two is two points of damage. Let's just take it here, shall we? Shall we? Oh. Boom, oh my, come on. Amateur hour. This is a high production High, high production value and we got mistakes like that going on this is just unacceptable all right so these uh, uh sprag comes in just you know <laughs> wiping sweat off his brow and puts his pernach away turns around and sees like that three of them my wife watches this. She's gonna be like, "Why are you, why are you the way you are?" That's what she'll say. <laughs> she'll be embarrassed. So she says that's my rat face. All right, takes two points of damage. All right, we're going again. They monster will escape. I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna try and block that monster. Uh, Fifty-five minus ten plus zero forty-five. Oh, 
Fate point. Fate. Fate point. 24. All right. And you guys are going to be like, you probably should have saved that for when you actually needed it. But I just, I really just want to build that world. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Zero. All right. That better have been good. All right. We're going to attack now. We need 55 or less. Correct. No, that, uh, that die doesn't count. Dang it. it should though. Right? No. Doesn't count. All right, uh, going again. Let's see what it does. On the 10, two. Monster has less than half points gained, AV plus five. Just fine, attack is normal. I haven't done any damage to it. Let's see what we do. 94, let's see what it does. 35 or less, it hits. 90, boom. Going again, round three or four of combat. Four, attack is normal. I know I looked, but I, I registered before. Let's see what I do. 55 or less, old Spraggy Poo. 28, here we go, big money, big money. Six on the die, one on the 10. Three and three, okay. Okay, so three plus one for the torso makes four, plus one for the per notch is five. Defense is zero, so you know what that means? Three, two, two, now is zero, zero, two, but it still attacks with all three, so it still is 35 or less. 10, yikes, okay, that's all right. That's all right, old SPB, Spraggy Poo Bear. Four and two, so arms, two, minus two. Goose egg. Goosey. All right. And they don't get that bump. They don't get that pack, that AV. Let's see what it does this time around. I don't think the monster scored a natural one yet. For poison. Disease. All right. It's going to attack as normal. Let's see what we do. 55 or less. Here we go. Ah, 70. And a 6. All right. Let's see what it does. 25 or less now for it. 60. Miss again. All right. Back to the top of the order. We're just dancing. Just dancing. Attack is normal. Apparently that's a sprag dances. Come on. 56. Let's see what it does. See if it can handle it. You know it's a long battle when the uh, when the music starts over. 57. Back to the top. Let's see what it does. Four, attack is normal. Let's see what we do. Oh man, wouldn't that have been awesome if that was for us, our attack? 22 hits. This is it. We got it in the bag. Six on the six. Nope. Two and. Oh. Come on. <clears throat> uh, so two minus one plus one is two. So I or. <gasps> two minus two. I'm going to write it out. Make sure I get it right. Equals. But if you zoom in on that zero, it's a happy. Look at that. Because all damn rats are dead. But with its dying breath. 23 hits. And that one on the damage dies. All right, so it doesn't do damage, but we got to do some disease. When a monster scores net one on their damage dice, they infect the adventurer with disease, and the player shades one pip on the disease track of the adventure sheet, even if the monster does not deal any damage during the combat round. When the time track is refreshed, the player must roll 1d10. Alright. Disease. Zzz. Disease right there. And that, we all know what disease looks like. That's a thermometer. Poor guy. Poor Sprag. He's all right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's turn on some aftermath music here. Uh, 
I was hoping for. Well, we'll just we'll randomly uh, go here. Uh, a faint hope is what this one's called. So. Let's see what we roll first. Let's go with that before we narrate how we sadly limp out of this dungeon. 16. 16 on the parts. P. L, M, N, O, P. Right? Right? There it is. 16 on the parts. P1. Skin slash exoskeleton. Well, fellow Dungeoneers, let's go back here. Triumphant at last, Sprague the Victorious. Oh, shoot, actually. No, we're okay. Let's search it, let's search it, let's search it. Almost forgot the most important part. 73 on the search, on the F, find. 73. <coughs> That's Sprag. I'm Sprag now. <laughs> Sprag. Hoists himself up. Stands atop the, the carcasses of his fallen enemy after skinning one of them. And something catches his eye just, just over there. Rebels. It's me searching through the rubble. And rolls on the armor table. Let's make sure I'm not... Uh, uh, yeah. Armor plus 15. 40 plus 15 is 55. Torso. Studded leather brigadine. Lifts it high aloft. This. And tries to put it on. Ties it up. And realizes it's a handkerchief and not a brigadine. But he's got a brigadine. And he limps out. Look at look at all the stuff we, we did, you guys. And you were with me every step of the way. Look at all this. We did it. Now it all thanks to you. Thank you, fans. Remember, uh, next time, I'm going to discover a little bit more about uh, Highmount. The world. It's people. Maybe we'll find some quests. Probably three, if you're familiar with the world building uh, book. I think it's three. But that's what we're doing next time. So tune in next week to find out a couple things. Who the winner is. One. Uh, two, also find out uh, how we're going to do this whole world building thing. Because that'll be an adventure by itself. Bottom line, you guys. Bottom line is... Uh, this is Sprag. I'm Jacob. You're the fans. This is D5 Questing. D100 Dungeon. We'll see you guys next week. D5! D5. D5.